Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. Today I'm up in Oriel Park with Electricity League top scorer Pat Hoogan. Pat, firstly, 18 goals in 20 games, a hat trick the other night. Uh, how are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Um, you know, it's my second ever hat trick to score in professional football, so um, you know it was a good feeling. Uh, obviously, to get 18 goals as well so far this season. So you know, there's was, was a lot of positives there on Friday night. Um, yeah, second ever hat trick to get. Last one was in 2013. I've been getting quite a lot of doubles, but uh, not going to stay a bit longer on the pitch as I'd like. But here. That's just the way things go, and uh, hope. Thank, thankfully, I got finally got the match ball there on that Friday night. Especially my mother as well. My mother was, it was the first game to come to the season as well, so you know she got a great occasion on Friday. Happy days. Uh, do, now, do you find like it's actually quite remarkable that your goal tally considering you had no pre-season? Like, how was it for you, kind of slowly adjusting, getting in, and then? Yeah, well, you know, it wasn't easy. You know. Didn't get any pre-season football into me at all. Um, it's quite frustrating to be honest with you. You know, doing the first week and then pulling up with a quad, and uh, I was like, oh, here we go again. But um, you know, it was always going to take time to get my body more resilient, um, stronger as well, my muscles stronger. And uh, me and Danny Miller worked a lot. Our physio worked quite hard on it in the off season, and and obviously during pre-season as well. And you know, we got myself back just for the start of the season and, you know, um, I started my first game was against Shamrock Rovers, played 60 minutes and I felt, my God, I'm still miles off it here. Um, but since then, I kind of went from strength from week to week, um, getting stronger within myself, um, getting sharper and fitter every week and, uh, you know, I feel like I'm nearly there and, you know, obviously 18 goals in 20 games kind of stands for itself and hopefully I can add a few more come come the end of the season. Yeah, well did you find did you benefit from the so the Monday and Friday games, those midweek games as well as the Friday games for your fitness like? Um I don't know. Uh, it's hard to know that wasn't easy, you know, doing playing three games in a week. Like, you know, that twelve games in forty two days period was I say it wasn't easy on anyone in the league. Um but you know, maybe it did stand to me. I don't I couldn't really tell you. Um but what's what's been important for me is my recovery in between games. I've been getting my recovery now has been uh, brilliant. You know, it's back to where it was there from a few years ago. So that's that's a massive plus for me. And you know, staying injury free now is the most important thing. And I work quite hard in it off the off the field now on injury free stuff. So you know, you know, hopefully I can just keep going now and keep putting the ball in the net and keep putting good performances for the boys and for the team and. And uh, hopefully by the end of the season we have something to cheer about for, you know. Yeah, definitely. When you look at uh, the, the stage last season, I think Sean McGuire had uh, 16 goals around this time coming into the break, and then he kind of added four, and his total was 20. Do you, do you see yourself, how many goals have you set target, a goal for yourself? Well, like, you know, I don't really set targets. Normally people just set them for you um, <laughs> yeah. as you go along, you know. Like, you know, obviously scoring 18 and 20 games, you know, people are now setting targets for you, like, is he going to hit 30? Is he going to hit whatever? But like I, do, I know it's like in football. I know you can go five, six, seven, eight games without scoring a goal, and I know it does to the, you know, to your confidence and mentally. You know, it's happened to me before. So, you know, I just I have to stay level-headed and keep focused and keep improving week in, week out, and hopefully just keep adding to the tally. And you know, the the physio actually at the start of the for the pre-season set a target for me. Like he just done it on his own back, you know, and you know, I'm nearly there, so we're gonna have to set a new one, hopefully. Yeah, no, you've been away, you've been to England and back. Have you have you noticed? Um, has there been an improvement in the league since you've gone away and came back? Um, well, the first time I played in the league, I was, you know, 2013 and 2014. I was a 23 year old, you know, when I left. So I'm a lot more experienced now. I'm, I'm. Uh, a lot more mature as a player as well as a 26 year old so like I, you know when I was 23 I, I kind of like you just go play a match and you're like you don't really take in how how good the quality is in the league then but I do now I think there's a lot of quality in our league and I think it's shown with the lads getting into the Irish squad as well and um, even lads previous for being at you know Dundalk or at Cork have you know have started playing for their country like Shawnee Maguire Daryl Horgan you know 
um, Andy Boyle as well and, and then obviously we'll just have to get in um, Graham Burkhart after playing for Sean Mc after playing for Ireland with, um, from Sean McRover so you know there's a lot of pluses there's a lot of quality in our league and you know it's, it's great that the you know the Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane are actually coming to games and you know appreciating what kind of quality is in our league Do you find that when you have someone like Roy Keane coming to watch a game you, you raise it again? Not really you know you just you know you're, you're always focused for for your own for your individually and for your team and you have to make sure you put in a good performance for for to win a game of football and you know you don't really take in what goes on in, in the back like what goes on outside of football you can just focus on yourself and uh, you know we have a lot of quality in our squad and and, and our team and uh, we just have to make sure we're focused week in week out and that's what we do yeah I mean, you have the break coming up now in a, I think it's in two games and there's a break then um, are you looking forward to the European uh, European games? Yeah, you Maybe know, I, European one? I'd say the break is probably coming at a good time for everyone because you know you're after coming off the back of playing twelve games in forty odd days, and then obviously you know I know we've had a game once a week now for the last two weeks, so the break's probably coming well and good for everybody. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the European run. You know, hopefully we can hit the heights that they did a few years ago. Um, we have a lot of quality in our squad. We've quite a big squad. We've and it's all around quality and um, hopefully that'll start us in Europe um, you know it'll be great to you know I, I when I last played in Europe was 2014 and we marginally missed out to losing to Hadjik Split in, in Hadjik as well and uh, hopefully now we can create a few memories and and uh, get things rolling in the Europa yeah and do you think maybe if you have a uh, run maybe in, in Europe and you start keep scoring the goals that you're scoring that maybe you might get a call up in the future is it something that you uh, would look forward to uh, yeah you know obviously it would help because playing Europa League is like it's quite a high standard um, there's a lot of there's a lot of massive clubs in Europa so there's international players as exactly, well exactly yeah. yeah so maybe they might maybe they might take that as more opinion of, of like say myself or whoever it is um, yeah you know all you can do is just keep focusing and I like to think that our own league has has enough credibility to uh, you know get a player and move across the water or wherever play for their country do you know what I mean so um, yeah I'm looking forward to the Europa League but um, you know we'll have to just wait and see yeah and just uh, as you say with the break coming at the right time the rivalry between yourselves and Cork do you, is that a, a healthy rivalry you think for the league yeah um, absolutely it's a, it's a it's a great rivalry for the for the league, you know, you know, you know. The, it's always been it's been Cork and Dundalk for the last how many years now? So there is always going to be building a ri rivalry there, and uh, you know, there's other rivalries in, in the league as well. There's both Shamrock Rovers. There's even ourselves and Shamrock Rovers. Um, you know, every team's always up for to playing, up to playing against those and against Cork, and you know, two best teams in the country, and you know, there's. You know, with ourselves in Cork, you could say like there is a bit of, bit of bite there, and I think it's only healthy for the league. Um, you know, you know, it probably raises the profile for the league as well. And uh, you know, there's been obviously I wasn't here for, it, but there's been a few things said probably over the last few years, which always adds the spice to it too. So, um, you know, it's nothing but healthy competition, and that's what you would want in the league. Yeah, and especially with them after winning the double last year, you'll obviously want to be getting. Uh, getting their title back I suppose yeah definitely you know um, that's what you play for at the end of the day is to win trophies and you know I, you know, scoring 18 goals might be fair enough but like if if you don't have a trophy at the end of the year it means nothing do you know what I mean so we'll be all fighting together now we have a massive game on Friday against Derry you know we turned them over there um, there a couple of weeks ago about a month ago now and they'll be uh they be ready for us now Friday, so we have to make sure we're focused and um, not really think too far ahead for after the break. Just think of this game on Friday. Just taking each game as it comes, pretty much. Yeah, you know you have to be focused. You can't you can't look at say oh Cork. You have to make sure we're ready for Cork after the break. You know we have a massive game against Derry. Um, make sure we get three points. Um, we know it's not going to be easy, but. Um, you just have to make sure you're ready week in week out. Yeah, I I find that the the rivalry was very very reminiscent of um, Man United and Arsenal back back in the nineties, kind of early two yeah, thousands. Yeah. It's it's very much like that in terms of the 
like tackles are always flying it's a real derby type of game yeah but you know what's like we said it's only healthy I think it's great um, no it's great it's great for the TV I see, as well. yeah, I see it's yeah. great to watch as well um, you know I think it only builds the profile for the league you know I said already and it's great uh, you know there's things being said but I, uh, you know pinch of salt really. yeah pinch of salt you just get on with it on the pitch you know what happens on the pitch stays on the pitch kind of thing and uh, you know hopefully when we play them you know it'll be a cracker of a game finally we know you're a product of uh, the first for players family uh, how important is it for you to have um, be represented off the field as well as looking after everything where he's on the field yeah it's massively important you know um, you know they've looked after me really well for some players um, especially when I you know injury when I was injured as well looked after everything here for my deal and everything and uh, I think it's massively important um, you know it's not even just about it's not even just about football you know everyday life um, you know I keep in contact with Liam all the time and and uh, he looks into how I'm playing in the games on uh, Insta Scout, and we go to go to you know videos, clips, you know where I can improve on in the pitch and all. And uh, you know I think that's a massive plus to have. Um, you probably won't get many people that do that, but um, you know it's it's also you know you feel good, you know when you're representing like I'm with Liam and uh, Max Burns, you know the company first players, you know just. Just the way they look after, the way they always keep in contact. I think it's 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 great to see, and um, you know I think they've done quite a lot for our league as well in terms of you know the E Stars. You know, yeah. Mike's Burn brought that into and looked after a lot of clubs in, in the league as well. So you know I think I think what they've done for the league is massive, and um, you know credit to them, and you know we know but grateful to them. A few other boys here as well in the club, and uh, you know they're all happy and. I can be even, I can even be more happier with yeah, this. Yeah, I seen uh, Jamie McGrath. He signed a, a contract extension um, the other day. Now um, he's another player represented by those. Yeah, you know, Jamie's an unbelievable talent. Um, he's probably the most talented I've seen in a long time. Uh, you know, so it's great to for him to be here for another year. It'd be good for me as well to have him around me because he's. He's nothing but a great guy and uh, he's great talent on the field as well. You know, his touch is brilliant and, um, you know, thankfully he's, uh, he's on my side and not someone else's. Absolutely. Well, Pat, thanks very much for your time. It's Cheers. been an absolute pleasure. Cheers, thanks.